Hello everyone, Spongester here. Since it's been over two months, I think it's a good time to catch up on the stuff that I missed. Most of the stuff just happened, so it's not going to be a lot of old news. Firstly, we're starting off with pretty old news at this point, Nickelodeon's All-Stars game. For the record, I do not play that many video games. I only play a bunch of Spongebob games and Pac-Man Fever in my spare time, so I've never really played any Super Smash game. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to play this when it comes out. This was definitely a surprise to both me and everyone else on the internet. It seems like this came completely out of nowhere like most news nowadays. And honestly, while this is a first for Nickelodeon, this could definitely work. Having a bunch of Nickelodeon characters fight each other in a Super Smash Bros style is a very interesting concept for a video game. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's kinda weird how they haven't done this before. Sure, there's the Super Brawl series on Nick.com, but that was more of a Street Fighter type parody, not Super Smash Bros. And also, online games don't really count. So the fact that Nickelodeon is doing this now is incredible to me. Also, it seemed like the moment this thing was announced, everyone was talking about it. It was trending on Twitter to the point where even Cartoon Network was trending. That's how big the news was surrounding this game. Everyone is excited about this, and it makes perfect sense why. And as for Nickelodeon characters that I want to be in the game, how about the main Spongebob cast, Hugh Neutron, from Jimmy Neutron and Otis from Barnyard. Yeah, I think that's good. Next up, we have the saddest news in this video. After 18 years, Family Guy is leaving Adult Swim for good. Thanks to Disney now owning Fox, and due to expired contracts, Family Guy will no longer air on Adult Swim. Now, that does not mean that the show is over. It just means that Family Guy is no longer airing on Adult Swim. The show is still airing on Fox, going into its 20th season, but still, it's very unfortunate. Family Guy airing on Adult Swim is not only one of the most important things to happen within Adult Swim's history, but also Family Guy's history. If you don't know, Family Guy was airing on Adult Swim when Family Guy wasn't even airing on its main network. The show was basically given to Adult Swim for free. And not only did it help boost Adult Swim's ratings, it also helped Family Guy come back from cancellation. So if you want someone to blame for the reason why Family Guy is still going on in 2021, it's Adult Swim. And also, good DVD sales, but whatever, we're talking about Adult Swim this video. Of course, I will definitely miss Family Guy airing on Adult Swim, in the same way that I miss King of the Hill, and kinda, sorta not the Cleveland show, so this is definitely an end of an era. I will miss you, Family Guy, I really will. Next up, we have the new Spongebob game, Spongebob Squarepants The Comic Shake. As a part of THQ Nordic celebrating their 10th anniversary, they recently announced 10 new games, including one starring the sponge of the hour. Here's a description from THQ Nordic themselves. Wish granting mermaids tears in the hands of Spongebob and Patrick, what could possibly go wrong? Sure, the very fabric holding the very universe very together could come very undone, opening up portals in a wish worlds full of knights, cowboys, pirates, and prehistoric snails. But that's nothing everyone's favorite sponge can't handle with the right cosmic costume. Everybody do the Cosmic Shake. I've always had this idea for a Spongebob game where Man Ray and Plankton do something evil in order to erase Spongebob's memories. So everyone has to go back to older episodes of the show in order to save Spongebob's memories. I always thought that would be a very cool idea for a Spongebob game. And while that was kind of what Truth or Square was, it still seemed like a really cool plot for a Spongebob game, to me at least. And it seems like the Cosmic Shake will be my idea come true, but way better than anything I could come up with, there will apparently be more than 30 costumes in this game. 30! <laughs> That's insane! So it does seem like this game is pulling from a lot of other Spongebob games, not just Bell for Bikini Bottom. Like, here the costume thing was done before in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, but that's okay. As long as this game is taking these things and making them better than the original game, I'm perfectly fine with this. Also, there will be 101 songs in this game, from the original series. That that's also crazy. I do wonder if this means production songs from the show or actual song songs. Cause if we're talking about song songs, then that means that there's gonna be a lot of Twitch streamers in big trouble playing this game. So hopefully that's not the case. But at the same time, we all wish that DMCA wasn't the case and well, here we are. All in all, this is a very exciting game that I cannot wait for. As of now, it does not have a release date, but hopefully it gets one soon. Cause this is going to be amazing. Finally, we have the last last piece of news. Billy and Mandy 
movie. It's not happening. As you imagine, a lot of people are very upset about this. Me, personally, I've never watched Billy and Mandy. I'm sorry. But regardless, I'm going to throw in my two cents anyways because, well, that's what I do. I don't understand and both understand Cartoon Network's decision here, but first I'm going to get into why I don't understand it. Cartoon Network used the excuse of, well, kids don't know what Billy and Mandy is. And while that may or may not be true, there's one way that you can fix it, and that's by actually actually airing Billy and Mandy on the network and giving it the proper promotion. Yes, Billy and Mandy is on HBO Max, but it's not on Hulu, and Foster's Home, Flapjack, and Chowder are on Hulu. So why isn't Billy and Mandy on Hulu? It just doesn't make any sense. Also, I love how they use that excuse when Teen Titans Go exists. Because I highly doubt that the kids who watch Teen Titans Go have any idea what the original Teen Titans is. And I know that the show references the original Teen Titans a lot, more than they should, but that's my opinion. But I I have seen people in my school grade see the words Teen Titans and immediately associate the words with Teen Titans Go. At this point, Teen Titans Go is more popular than its original show. As much as people don't want to admit it, it is. Which proves my point that you can't use that as an excuse when Teen Titans Go is still one of the most aired things on your schedule. But enough of that, let's get into why I understand the decision. As much as it hurts to say, Cartoon Network is a business. Their main goal is to make money. That's a fact, it should go without saying. So of course they're gonna pick up Teen Titans Go and the Powerpuff Girls reboot, but not a Billy and Mandy movie. Because they don't see Billy and Mandy as a marketable franchise. They haven't used the name Billy and Mandy in well over a decade, so they probably don't know how well a Billy and Mandy movie would do. And what I mean by how well it would do, I mean how many toys can I make off of this franchise? Because Teen Titans Go and the Powerpuff Girls reboot have a lot of merchandise sales. So of course Cartoon Network is going to keep these shows around because they're really easy to make toys out of, since they're both comedy shows with a little bit of action in them. With Billy and Mandy, I don't see that happening. I mean, remember the symbionic titan incident? The Power prep incident, both of those shows were cancelled due to toy sales. The latter which got cancelled because, yes it was selling toys, but to girls. And they didn't want that at the time. But now that the Powerpuff Girls reboot is a thing, they want to sell toys to girls? Yeah, some Cartoon Network shows get unlucky with their timing. So I can understand why Cartoon Network would have little faith in Billy and Mandy. But again, one way to fix that would be to add Billy and Mandy on Hulu. Don't just sit there and do nothing about it. Add Billy and Mandy on Hulu. Add Billy and Mandy to your schedule. Do something. Ugh, but anyways, that's it for this video. I personally chose the stuff that I wanted to talk about in this video, which is why I did not talk about the Drake Bell incident, and thankfully, I think we're all the better for it. Hopefully, you're going to see more uploads from me soon. I have a review script from July ready. I just need to record it, but not now because I need a little bit of water. So stay tuned for that, as well as other videos that I have planned. I'm a Spongeter, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>